stamping pad, um, stamping plate. This is the one that I'm going to use for this demonstration. This is BP02, also from Born Pretty Store. So basically you put your uh, polish on the stamping plate, scrape it off and then put this over the top and use your stamper to pick up the design to then place on your fingers. So I'm going to show you how it works. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm keep on looking at where I am in frame and it's a little off. So <laughs> you do have to work relatively fast or use a polish that you know is going to work. Um, I have found from practicing. Um, in case you're wondering, on this hand, I have fruit juice from Mini Calorama, and on the other hand. I have electric blue from Mini Calorama. Uh, so in case you are curious to stamp with, I am actually going to use Bold Gold from Maybelline Culture. Um, this was one that uh, Tina, Moon Baby Nails, actually put me onto. And I have used like half the bottle. It's a fabulous stamping polish. Let's go shake it up because I have it. I have my rectangular slightly sticky stamper. This is also from Born Pretty Store. My Born Pretty Scraper. Uh, a pad and some acetone to clean the stamping pad. And I also have my trusty little... This is a sticky roller. The kind that you use normally to take fluff off of clothing. That's what I use to clean my stamper. You just press it on there and it comes off. It's fabulous. Much easier than any other way. And I also have a roll of sticky tape in case for some strange reason I get it all over my skin. So, um, which design shall we use? I'm just going to use this, the star shaped one. Sorry about the glare I'm doing this at night, of course. Um, I might use some of the others as well, but we'll just start with that one. And I'm going to use this design here. Sure, make sure I've got everything ready to go. Nothing in my way. So, put some polish on. Scrape over the image. Put down the stamping guide and there you go. So I am just going to stamp it. Oh, I waited too long. You can see what happened. The whole image didn't come off. That's fine, it happens. And this is where knowing some little tricks of the trade actually help. I have actually put a top coat over this colour. It's actually been on my nails for like a day and a half. Um, I used out the door because uh, that's what I had lying around. Um, and you can see on the sticky tape. So if you've used top coat on your nerves when you're stamping, you make a mistake. You literally just use tape to take it back off again. So that works really well. We'll clean the stamping plate and we'll try this again. Exactly get it centered, but 
as you can see, it's kind of got the lacy pattern, but inside a star shape. And the camera is trying to focus on <laughs> to me. So, yeah. So I'm just going to do a couple more nails. If you get some on the side here, you can always just roll your thumb in. Because I don't generally um, do my thumbs. I usually have gel polish on my thumbs. There you go. Isn't that cool? I really like that. It's a really good way of just getting part of a design on your fingernails. Without having to do lots of taping and messing about and stuff. So I might try with one of these other, maybe we'll try with this one on my other hand. And what design should we use? These ones are kind of interesting. Let's try one of those designs, just for something different. Just a little bit of it. See if I can get it to stick down. Mm, close enough. Not perfect, but, but that's a different. I gotta say, it's easier than using um, vinyls. If it would focus, you'd be able to see. Because <laughs> um, I sometimes find using vinyls, particularly ones that are like that that sort of shape, I actually find them quite difficult to use. So you kind of almost get um, sort of like a, I guess, an Egyptian-y type look. I don't know. It's just kind of cool. It's a, it's a cool little tool to actually uh, use to do this kind of thing. So I thought what I would do is um, get a piece of white paper and show you how they all look using a darker colour polish. Standard white piece of paper. Um, plus I covered up. What did I do with my standing paper? So I'll use the original image that I used. try this polish. It's just sitting here. Uh, this is Atomic Dragonfly from Tees Cosmetics, which is sitting here for another video. <laughs> Oops. Um, lid comes off. <laughs> Word to the wise. If I can get the lid off of it. I don't know how the, well this stamps. I've never actually tried it. So this should be fun. <laughs> this will be an interesting exercise. It's got a great brush on it. I'll give it that. Yeah, this might not stamp well. But it might stamp okay for our purposes.
stamps okay for our purposes. Uh, of course you can't see them. It, it shows up on the white, which is what I need. Um, the other thing is, is you do need to be careful because it does end up all over the back of the um, stamping guide, which is not a huge issue. Um, nail polish that's that thin tends to dry relatively quickly, um, but it is something to be aware of, especially if you put it down on something that's light in colour, there's a chance you might end up with bits of nail polish on it. Um, and don't move the stamping guard <laughs> before you've picked it up because you can actually smear it, I found out. Um, I'm getting little bits of the side, um, like the next, I'm getting little bits from in here, like the image next to it, but they're the, like the kind of things you clean up with the side of your nail. Not a huge issue. But you could use pretty much any um, stamping plate that you have. You don't necessarily have to use like a lacy one like I'm using. I just figured it would be good for showing um, the various designs. I keep knocking over the nail polish. Such talent. I think this square one would be really great for like um, a Greek style mani. I think that's like really cool for a Greek style mani. So I saw um, my simple little pleasures do um, her Greek key manicure the other day and but hers was like much smaller um greek keys like f i think it was like four of them together um off of the conan stamping pad and i just thought it was like really cool nice simple basic type manicure you know how sometimes you don't want anything too elaborate you just want something nice and simple and i think that's what this stamping gadget would be like really really good for is just you know whoops um, a simple little manicure like I've done with just you know, a couple of colors I'm, I'm being a little bit messy around the edges mainly because I can be it's not really an issue it's not like I'm actually doing my nails um, but yeah I think this this stamping guide is is great um, or if you just wanted like a stripe across your nail this this rectangular one which is oops, this one here, this one here would be just great for just doing a simple stripe across like single colour, I think that would like be really, really awesome. Actually, what I'm going to do, because I said that, <laughs> and the back of the stamping guide is covered in blue um, nail polish at the moment. What I'm going to do is get a clean cloth for a start. Um, I'm going to take the gold again. If your nails were short enough, you could go from top to bottom. Uh, my nails are not short enough. Look at that. That is so awesome. And it's so much quicker and easier than 
taping off your nail to actually do the same kind of thing. I think that is awesome. I love that so much. I think this little device is going to get a huge workout in my collection because it is just such a great idea. Um, and it's not super expensive or anything on um, Born Pretty. Um, and, you know, yeah, I was sent this for review, so I did not pay for it. But I actually had intended to buy it anyway when I got the um, email from Cynthia. And it was one of the things that she recommended that I try out. So I was like, yeah, but I would have bought it anyway because I thought it looked so interesting. Um, but it is fabulous. And I'm not going to tell you something's fabulous if it's shit because that's just not how I operate. Um, and even if it is sent for my review, if it doesn't work for me, then I will actually say that. So... I mean, I don't feel like I should have to put a disclaimer in, I think, you know. But I know that there are um, people out there who do take advantage, and as a result, um, other people are not as trusting as they might have been otherwise. Which is actually pretty sad, but, you know, it is what it is, and there's not much I can do about it. This has kind of turned into a random ramble, random ramble whilst playing around with nail polish. I hope you don't mind. Um, that is if you're still watching. <laughs> but I think it's, you know, a good chance for a chat. Um, this one picked up a lot of the image above. That's the thing you're going to have to watch out for if you do use these. These smaller images, which are quite close together, um, you might find yourself picking up part of the thing above, so you will have to clean it off your stamping pad. Um, you don't have to do it how I did it with my nail, because you know sometimes you actually want to put stuff on your nail. You don't want to have mess on your nail. But if you're doing like clients or other people's nails, it's actually a really good trick, because um, it's quite quick. It's quicker than trying to grab like a piece of tape, um, particularly if you're using something like the Born Pretty actual stamping polishes, because they dry really, really fast. You don't actually have time to mess around. Um, so basically what I do, is so I just roll my thumb, and that way it ends up on this thumbnail, which is one I tend to use, or I use this if I'm for some reason I can't use my Cinderella hand thumb um, when I'm doing my clients or if I'm doing this is you know my swatchy hand so if I'm doing that hand I don't worry if the Cinderella hand gets stuff all over it this is Cindy by the way she's called Cindy because she's the one who does all the work although swatchy hand gets a fair amount of work these days because I do tend to do designs on both hands well, I'm trying to get back into it anyway it's a bit lax there for a while. Um, those of you who've been on my channel a little while know that I haven't had a great run of things in the last month or so, due to my fabulous uh, mental health issues. But this I find calming, just sitting here, playing around. Now, this big cross thing, you need A, a big enough stamper and be um, a big enough design for it to actually fit on because it's kind of big it's like the biggest one look at the back of it gross <laughs> it's actually all over the white piece of paper as well um, but that's all right it's it's just practice and you know sometimes this is what you should do if you you don't know how a design is going to look is just do it on like a piece of paper and, you know, it'll give you enough of an idea um, to know how it's going to actually look, whether the colours that you've picked are likely to work. Um, so, as with stamping plates, cleaning the back of this, you do have to be careful because you've got holes, but just 
pure acetone. That is what I'm using, pure acetone. Um, you might end up with little bits of fluff caught in the sharp bits. But it does clean, especially on these weird shaped ones. Um, it cleans off easy enough with just acetone and a quick wipe down. Of course, most of the polish drives so fast, it's not really an issue. But if you're like super pedantic about keeping everything clean, you'll need to do that. Um, but it doesn't get on the front side where you're doing the picking up from. Of course, I've now got fluff stuck to it. And I got my fingernail with the acetone. If you have one of those claws, which I do have, I just always forget to use it. That would probably be a good thing if you don't want to mess up your hands. Clean off that. Clean up, I clean my scraper occasionally, um, just with the same acetone. You can see I didn't do it after the last one I did. <laughs> same thing. Let's use kitchen towel and then I can throw it away. So, these here are the different designs that you can all the different shapes that you can get. As I said, there are a couple of other um, designs that you can get. I think there are three or four plates. This one is number two. Um, with different sort of designs on them. Um, there's one I know that has like uh, oval shapes on it. So like if you're doing sort of like a cameo or something like that. So that one's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I, I will leave a link down below to um, where you can find this on Born Pretty. Um, I do have a code which is listed down in the description bar all the time for 10% off at Born Pretty. Um, it only applies to items that aren't actually on sale though, I believe, but still 10% off of their already ridiculously low prices is still 10% off. Yeah, so uh, this was my review for the Born Pretty Stamping Guide. If you like this kind of thing, leave me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, there will be a subscribe thing somewhere on the screen, or you can click the little thing down there, click the bell so you get notified. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. There you go.